Hello Python programmers. So everyone must have heard about Wikipedia, right? Now as a school student, you must have used for your school projects and as an adult, you must have used for your PPT, just copying and pasting the content. Okay, so I was not really amazed to hear that the Python was having a package for that because I think everything or every work that exists on this planet is having a package in python so <laughs> there are so many packages in python so there is also a package for wikipedia and we are gonna explore that package in this video so first of all you you have to install that package go to command prompt and just write pip install wikipedia uh, wikipedia and press enter and there you can see for me all these all the requirements are satisfied but you may have to install this so with this being said and all the requirements satisfied let's get started with the programming okay so now we are into our editor First of all, let's import our required libraries. We will use two libraries. First is, uh, first of all, let me increase the font size. Okay, so first of all, we'll import our Wikipedia. And then from Kinter, import star, because as usual, this will be a GUI based project because I love GUI. <laughs> okay. So first of all, what we will do is we'll first create the GUI, take the input from the user and then in a pop up uh, window, we'll display the Wikipedia answer for that question. So let's do that. So first of all, we'll create a variable for our Kinter window. then we need one entry widget and a button so first of all let's define that what will be the geometry geo root dot geometry geometry and let's experiment with the size let's say uh, 400 by 400 now I haven't written the program yet I am coding along with you so we will make the changes afterwards so make to make it attractive okay so we have defined the geometry now let's create our entry widget and button okay so let's create a variable which will be a string var and then let's create our entry root and the text variable variable is equal to question okay now let's grid our even into our kinter window at let's say um, 1 comma 1 sorry we have to define that this is the row and this is the column and then let's create our button here b1 is equal to button and this is for root the width of our button let's say is 12 and the height is let's leave the height for here and the command that this uh, button will trigger is let's say the function answer okay now let's grid our b1 button b1 dot grid and let's say add the row uh, third and add the column 
let's say second okay now let's close our main loop root dot main loop and let's see how our GUI is looking shift plus mouse right click uh, open partial window here python one dot py ah sorry there should be a space here one dot py and we are having an error at entry uh, because there shouldn't be any underscore okay there should be text variable and let's run this again and we are having an error because answer is not defined because we haven't created our answer function yet so let's first create our answer function and simply print I work let's run this again and we are having again an error because main loop was not defined <laughs> it should be loop okay and there we go we have our ugly looking GUI but let's see okay it's working <laughs> and let's increase the width of our entry widget first and uh, okay i will modify the gui later on first of all let's uh, do the coding work then we'll do the designing so what we are gonna do here is we'll first create a variable called answer let's do this as question answer and change the function name here question answer and the variable name is answer Ex let's extract the uh, question from our entry widget so uh, one dot get this should be get here and it should be question because this is the question asked by the user I told you I'm coding live and I haven't written any code so this is a bit confusing for me also so let's create a variable answer which will basically find the answer for you using the Wikipedia package and the parameter provided will be question so this is the magical line which will return you the wikipedia summary of this question like uh, you have asked that who was albert einstein so this will search for uh, the query that who was albert einstein and then return the summary and the summary will be stored in our answer variable so let's first see that uh, how the answer variable looks so let's save this okay now let's run and okay I say Albert Einstein this should be E here I guess yeah and it's taking a bit time because my internet is slow and there you can see that the summary is printed here a is equal to mc square this was the equation and it looks very ugly <laughs> and there you can see that the whole summary of who was albert einstein and some of his details are printed here so let's create the pop-up which will display the to the user that uh, what is the answer for his question so let's create a pop-up 
okay so now we are gonna import the message box from kinter so from kinter dot message box it should be import here import show info okay now let's get back here and we're gonna write only one command which will display the uh, output to the user and that will be show info and this will be the title of our kinter window let's say answer and this will be the variable answer okay so let's see that how it's gonna work and message box is not defined maybe a spelling mistake this should be m e s s a g e right okay save this one okay so let's say i want to search about hitler this is not the spelling hitler and it's taking bit of time because my internet is slow again and there you can see the whole information about hitler okay so now let's customize or design our kinter window just a little bit okay so you know what let it be because the program is working fine and we are getting the output and this is not that ugly looking okay and you know kinter enough from my like 70 videos and i've like worked on more than 20 to 30 projects based on kinter that was very high number i guess okay <laughs> so i worked on enough kinter projects so that you know the basics of kinter so you can design it yourself and uh, it's working fine as you can see so this is it for this video and in my channel i create such short but awesome projects so if you want to see some more projects like this check out my channel and i'll meet you there bye bye